I was required to have a master's degree in my field before I started working in the schools. Um, it's a requirement that you have a master's degree in speech and language pathology to have the expertise to do my job. And I um, work mostly um, with kids on the autism spectrum, language learning disability students, um, cognitively disabled students, um, as well as speech and language delayed kids. I started out as the only speech and language pathologist in Somerset, so I worked um, early childhood through high school, um, through 21 actually. I'm licensed to work with kids from 3 through 21 years of age. And just in the last, in Somerset, it's grown and expanded. I've been um, just at the elementary school, and currently I'm, I'm teaching just in um, kindergarten through fourth grade. We've really evolved in our district over the last um, year and a half, year, year and a half. And it started out when, when Act 10 first happened, um, it was just a shock. Um, I had, and I, I become a little emotional when I talk about this. Um, I had never been treated like that in my life. And being a teacher for that long and giving and giving and giving for that long and, and wanting to give and never really expecting to get paid a lot to do it. I mean, people in our field don't go into teaching for the money. You wouldn't last. And historically, um, in the 30 years that I've been teaching, I've, you know, we've given up a lot. Um, there's been times where when I first started teaching, um, in order to buy a house, I considered getting a second job. That's just what you do when you teach because you don't make a lot of money. It started out with Act 10 and returning to school that I believe Monday or Tuesday because it happened over a weekend. And just the influx of media being poured at you in such a negative way. And then just looking at yourself and going, what am I gonna do with this? And the amount of sadness um, in a building and in a community of people that really had supported each other all along. So historically, we tend to be a profession that is a giving profession, and you don't go into teaching to make a lot of money. So to have Act 10 pass so quickly and have the media in the state of Wisconsin, which I taught in Wisconsin because it has such a high reputation of education, to have the media and the legislation in Wisconsin all of a sudden spin it that we were union thugs just in the profession for money, it was it was a shock um, and a sadness. So interesting enough, um, my story is really more of an emotional story about how our staff, including myself, went from this shock over a weekend of what happened to how we went through those phases of grieving, not only as a staff, but as a community in Somerset. So that's kind of where my premise is from. So all of a sudden we were in the situation where we were painted as the enemy. And um, it was a hard thing to go through. So what do you do? You know, I tend to re um, turn things around pretty quickly. I'm just that kind of person. And, and I, the first thing I did was call my representative. I contacted my representative in the um, 28th district, Eric Severson, um, to talk to him about the impact this um, Act 10 had on me and, and I wanted somebody to listen to how I felt about that because that's what you do when something impacts you. You have a representative that can speak for you in Madison. But that's not what I got from Eric Severson. What I got is that um, he repeatedly told me how um, he despised me. 
um, over and over again for um, wanting to earn a wage as a Wisconsin teacher and benefits. So he repeatedly told me how despicable I was and um, I didn't know what to do. I, my, I happened to have a student teacher at the time who was also in the room when um, I called him. It was my lunch hour and she happened to be standing there and she could hear him yelling at me on the phone. And so I went from sadness to just total, like what outlet do I have? Here I am in northwestern Wisconsin, four and a half hours, five hours away from Madison, where all this is happening, and my rep representative thinks I'm despicable because I want, I teach in Wisconsin and want to earn a wage and have benefits. As a 30-year teacher with a master's degree plus an incredible amount of credits and an and a mesh person in the community of Somerset. This is not about Democrats and Republicans. You have as many Republican teachers that are wanting to recall Scott Walker. And I've been told, I went actually to a session and listened to the Republican caucus at a state association, educators association conference and said, what are they talking about in the Republican caucus? I'm curious. They're talking about how to defeat Scott Walker because this isn't about Republicans and Democrats. It's about kids. It's about kids and education. And they're willing to come up and talk to any Republican teachers about why we need Scott Walker out of office.